Hello? Anybody there? Hey! Will somebody will tell me what's going on here? I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Alvarez, but we're experiencing some technical difficulties. If you'll please return to the diagnostic table. Where am I? What is this place? Please, Mr. Alvarez, you are in no condition to be moving around. Tell me what's going on here. What are you doing to me here? Extinguish her down, Mr. Almarez. Not until I get some answers. There's no reason to be upset, Mr. Almarez. You're, you're at Virtual Core, part of a new dream therapy experiment to address your nightmares. Dream therapy? Whose idea was this? Mr. Almarez, I'm warning you. I've already called the security. Who's in charge? I don't want to talk to somebody who's in charge. Wake up. Times you woke up. <sighs> Man, you look like hell. Bad dream? You have no idea. Yeah. This was in with my bills. It's yours. How about some beers at O'Malley's tonight? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Cool. I gotta run. I'll see you tonight. <sighs> Virtual quarrel. You know, look, I, I know that you just work here, but this is ridiculous. Two hours, two hours. That's how long I've been sitting here. That's why we recommend our clients call ahead for an appointment. I'm not a client. According to our records. I don't give a damn about your records. I, I didn't authorize any dream therapy sessions. Yes, you did when you signed your contract. What contract? What contract? Show it to me. Mr. Almaraz, calm down. I'll go find somebody to answer your questions. Thank you.
are live in Oakwood, where studio executive Jerry Hunt was shot in his home last night. According to Mrs. Hunt, her husband got into a heated argument with their pool cleaner earlier that day. Investigators believe that the man later broke into the home and shot Mr. Hunt while he was watching TV. A suspect has been arrested. The man's name is being withheld. This, this can't be real. Security alert. Computer breach in Lab 14. Security alert. Talking about these dreams, these dreams, they just, they just keep coming again and again. And every time I think I'm awake and everything is real, I'm back in the same nightmare. Lenny, Lenny, please, please tell me that I'm awake, okay? Tell me that this isn't just some other bad dream. You're gonna wish this was a dream. The cops are in the living room waiting to talk to you. The cops. That new guy you're working for, Mr. Hunt. They found him dead last night. This isn't happening. Richie. Did you kill him? I, I, I need to wake up, Lenny. I need to... No, 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 no. Don't, don't let him in. You did kill him, didn't you? Freeze! No! 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 Please don't shoot me again. I can't, I can't take it anymore. It, it hurts. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I killed you. I, I don't know what happened. I just, I just stabbed. I am so sorry. Wake up. No! By extracting key moments from the convict's memory, we are able to recreate virtually in our computers all the events surrounding their crime, including their incarceration at this facility. Now, in the case of Mr. Almarez here, we designed a repeating dream scenario where he will experience murder in the same manner in which he killed. With a gun. And of course, in each scenario, his killer is your husband. Well, a virtual likeness, anyway. And this all feels real to him? 100%. Mr. Almarez here is just moving out of the acceptance phase of our scenario into the retribution stage, where he will experience the 47 more deaths that he has been sentenced to. Each one more traumatizing than the last. In 10 years, we hope this program will actually make prisons obsolete. Ask me, getting off easy. You were in my dreams, and now you're here, but this is real, but this is real. Richie Amorez's prison has no walls, no bars, not even a single guard. It's simply a state of mind from which there can be no escape. Sweet dreams, Richie. Wake up. <laughs> 